What's going on guys? My name is Andres and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about fully remote classes and how you can succeed in them. Coming up next. Okay, so first we have to determine what your goals are for your class. If you're just taking the class just to get it out of the way, then your goals may be a little bit different than someone who's really wants to learn the material because they're gonna need it later on. Either way, I have some tips in here that I know can help you. Tip number one is become an avid reader. Read everything. Since you don't have a professor right in your face telling you what to do, it's important that you have to learn and figure this out for yourself. And the only way to really do that is just by reading. And I know it sucks just having to read through the syllabus and like a lot of it is just information that you may already know or just maybe like fluff, but like honestly like it contains a lot of important information. Plus you can't just rely on your classmates and just be able to text them and ask them, you know, what to do, uh, what's happening, you know, like it's important to be able to figure these things out for yourself. Another recommendation recommendation that I do have is to read the textbook but only if your professor recommends it because sometimes the classes they don't even go based off the textbook also please read your syllabus because it's like the like the blueprint for the class is like what's gonna happen so if you know what's gonna happen you know what to expect all right so tip number two don't just read what your professor says write down the important things. Okay, so I know as a college student, personally, there's so much information that I have to know, and it would honestly just be impossible just to keep it all in my head. That's why I highly suggest just writing it down because when you write it down, it's like you won't forget it because it's right there. And plus, like actually writing it down helps you like cement that information further into your mind. Now, you can also do this just by, like, by typing it out, whether that's like on your phone, tablet, whatever. I personally just prefer using paper, but I mean, it's up to you. But give it a shot, I don't know. Like you will be surprised of like how confident you'll feel about the class like going on. All right, tip number three is take only necessary notes. Okay, so sometimes we take a bunch of notes and then we never look back on our notes. And so basically we just wrote all that stuff down for nothing. Instead, what I find that works for me is just writing down the things that I know that I might forget or I know that it is important. Because sometimes I find myself just writing down things that I already know. Like, I don't need to write this down because like, I already know it. And when I write notes with that in mind, then I never really go back on my notes because I'm like, all right, I already know that information. When in all reality, I do not. So if I write down the notes that I know are gonna be important, I will then know that I will need to go back to my notes. It's something that I find works for me, so I don't know, give it a shot. All right, so tip number four is look at the learning objectives and quiz yourself. Okay, so the learning objectives that your professor gives are extremely important. These are like literally the things that your teacher wants you to know. There have been so many times where I would be expecting a certain like questions because like I did the practice exam and then when I took the actual exam there was a few questions that I like didn't even know that we had to know and that was only because I didn't learn the learning objectives hold this at a high priority I promise you it will pay you back tenfold. All right, tip number five is set a schedule and a routine. It can be hard to be successful at anything if you don't have a routine. Routines build consistency, and that consistency is integral to your learning and your success. Also, enforce your own rules on yourself. It can be very easy just to want to skip a day, but that one day turns into another day, into another day, and you get the picture. Eventually, you'll just have no concept of what your day should look like. And ultimately, it will give you some normalcy to the current situation. Tip number six, attend your TA Zoom meetings. A TA is just a teaching assistant, but I swear these TAs are amazing at just delivering this information with more practice, and they can honestly just maybe explain it in a way that your professor can't in which you will understand better. This is great because it'll actually force you to sit down and do some problems. Tip number seven is keep contact with your professors. All right, so communication is key. So if you have questions, just email your professor or your TA. After all, like this is their job. Your learning is the most important thing. So definitely reach out if you feel like you need to. Tip number eight is reach out to your classmates through email. Although we like to be perfect, sometimes it just doesn't work like that and we're completely lost. If you're struggling and your TA or professor isn't getting back to you you know maybe just try and emailing like one of the uh, one of your classmates in your actual class given that we can't really meet people in person now you know it's it's important that we should be able to at least have some communication with other people in our class and being able to you know bounce more ideas off of and help each other to remind each other when things are due and it's honestly just a great support system to have anyways thank you guys for watching my video and if you guys like this video you guys do me a huge favor and smash that like button and please subscribe and I'll be coming out with these videos as soon as I can so thank you guys for watching and peace